I asked her, Mom, what's up? I thought something was wrong, right? She goes, you better be going to school this next semester. <laughs> Don't you dare drop because I already paid for it. I already paid for that next semester. I was going to go, okay? This was December. I was starting school. I go, Mom, I know in my heart this is what I'm going to do, right? So my parents, greatest parents in the world, weren't totally supportive in the beginning. They didn't know, what's that? They weren't. They see what I saw. A lot of you are going to talk to you, don't see what you Your parents didn't see what you saw. And your parents aren't paying your bill. Well, maybe some of them are. You've got a problem. Right? <laughs> but my parents weren't paying my bills. It was time for me to be the man right. and make a decision. Not be a mama's boy and go, okay, mommy. My parents raised me better than that. How about yours? Right. Okay? Be a man. Or a woman, if you're a woman, and let's go get out of here, all right? So we got started that first year. Now, I acted tough, but I wasn't, I'm not scared. And we worked, uh, I worked hard for that first, we made 20000 that first year part-time, and I worked hard for that 20000 I showed up to every meeting, I listened to all the audios, I read a bunch of books, I took a bunch of notes. I mean, I was a student of the business, we made an extra 20000 We were excited about that. I mean, if you earned an extra twenty grand part time Whenever you work whenever you want, would that be pretty exciting? Yeah. Especially if you knew that twenty grand was building a business so that one day you wouldn't have to work every day of your life anymore. That's what I was most excited about. I had no problem working my tail off because and really I was only doing about four new appointments a week. Okay? So that was my first and, and, and obviously a lot of those appointments didn't go very well in the beginning, because we weren't very good yet. Can you I'll show you a picture in a second. But can you imagine a twenty two year old sitting down with you, hey, let me help you with your finances, right? <laughs> so second year I figured, man, if I did that part time, I could quit my job. And I could make probably 40 or 50. If I could probably double that. If I could do that, if I could double it, make 50 grand a year on my own schedule, that'd be like a dream. That's what I thought. Okay? We didn't make 40, we didn't make 50. We actually earned, we became regional vice presidents that year, and we earned over 100,000 our second year. Okay? And uh, so I just turned 24, actually, when I earned that. Okay? I just turned 24 years old. And um, that was exciting. 24 years old doing that, right? This dude, right? Well, I'm going to show you a picture in a second, right? It's great. And then the third year, we got a little bit better. Now, what happened was, I, the reason we became regional vice presidents is I started sitting down with people, and they said, hey, I want to come and do this, too. And we started to recruit some people, and they started to come work with us. And they, so not only was I personally helping people, but now I started to build a business. And what was really cool is I could recruit people that were older than me. And I could recruit people that were better than me. So some of you guys go, I wouldn't be very good at this. Well, lucky for you, you get to go find people that would be good at this. <laughs> Think like a business owner. Business owners are always thinking about that, right? I mean, how can I get my business to run better? I need to, I need to hire better people as you're getting better. So we kept doing that. We kept finding better people. We kept growing a bigger team. We started helping more clients every month. Third year made 183, fourth year 228, fifth year 325. By the time we were here for seven years, we were earning over a million a year in income. That's 83000 a month. The best part is, though, that word right there, freedom. We didn't have to do appointments anymore to make a great cash flow. Do you still like to go on appointments? Yeah. So you asked, do you still like to go on appointments? Let me ask you guys a question. Do you like helping people? Yeah. Why do you like helping people? You feel good after, huh? Right. That never goes away. But you don't have to. But you don't have to. That's the point. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, now look. This is my former occupation, bill collector in construction right now. Look, these are some people in our organization, Jeff and Kelsey Fieldstead. Check this out, okay? From age 21 to 25, by the time he was here for four years, he made 465000 in our company, okay? Jeff and Kelsey have been paid $2.8 million, just 28 years old today. He's been paid $2.8 million in this company so far. Now, I actually recruited Jeff when he was 19, and then he actually quit for two years, and then came back and is doing that. So he he's a, lives in Las Vegas now. He works with Chris Howard down in his office. Got a bunch, got uh, RVPs down there. He's got some RVPs in Boise as well. All right? So see, the reason I'm showing you these pictures, and you already saw Chris's picture. See, when I joined, I saw like Brendan Merton was making about 250000 a year when I joined, about 20000 a month. And I was 22 years old going, 20000 a month, that's unbelievable. I couldn't even think, I didn't even think that was like realistic. That's $250,000 a year, that's a lot of money. And then I saw people like uh, uh, Chris Howard, who was making a million, you should have a picture of Chris Howard, who's making a million a year. And I honestly thought there was something morally wrong with that. <laughs> I 
That's how messed up my thinking was, right? Uh, that is just wrong. Nobody deserves to make 83 grand a month. And then he showed this picture of this guy named Hector Lamarck. And Hector Lamarck, we work in his organization as well, right? These are all the people you plug into. Myself, Brendan Merton, Chris Howard, Hector Lamarck. 290000 a month. Now, I thought a million was immoral. Now, that was really immoral, right? <laughs> but then I started to look at the reality. And what, I, what I've learned over the years is those people that have become wealthy, you know why they become wealthy? They serve and help more people. That's why they become wealthy. Okay? And you look at, he has hundreds of people making $100,000 a year, multiple half million dollars, people to make over a million a year. So there's all those people, not to mention all the part-timers that he has and all the clients. They have about, uh, Hector's organization helps about 5,000 clients a month. <coughs> That's 5,000 people a month that if we never sat down with them, guess where they'd be? They're done. Plan A, right? <laughs> so you know what? I think Hector's underpaid. He should be making a lot more than that for the, the difference he's making for this country. We need a lot more people, a lot more Hector Lamarck's in this world to make a difference, right? Anybody interested in that? Okay. Now some of you guys go, I don't need to make that kind of money. Well, you know what? How many of you just like to try it out? I mean, what, right? I mean, give it a try. Try it for a couple months. Try it out, right? You can, I mean, you can give it back if you want. If your company, Kenny Mars, says, hey, we want to start paying you 290000 a month, we just say, nah, my two grand a month is good. <laughs> huh? People say, money's not everything. Yeah, but if you got that kind of a raise, you take it. <laughs> if not, what is wrong with you? Huh? Aren't you asking yourself, you should be asking yourself that question, what is wrong with me, right? <laughs> if you're not excited after tonight, you're probably dying. Stop by the hospital, right? Because there's something wrong. Okay, I'm serious. So how do you get started in this? Now, if you were going to go buy a McDonald's franchise, I'm almost done, all right? You go buy a McDonald's franchise, it costs about $2 million to buy the franchise. By the time you buy the franchise and, and, the, and the real estate that goes with it and the, and the store, all the stuff, about $2 million. And the, the average McDonald's makes about hundred grand a year, 90 grand, 100 grand, 110 grand a year. So you invest $2 million to make hundred grand. And you give people bad food. But how many of you, if McDonald's was expanding and said, hey, we'd like to bring you on. You don't have to pay the $2 million, but we'd just like you to own this McDonald's. It's going to pay hundred grand a year forever. You take the position. So you don't really care what you're doing to people. All you want, all you want is the cash flow. Because some of you guys are thinking, well, I don't know if I'd enjoy doing this. What difference does it make if it's going to pay hundred grand a year in overrides? Or more. But, of course... But 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 of course, but whatever whatever you got to do, right? So look, getting started, all right? So here in our company.